Welcome to All Things Woman, where we discuss femininity, womanhood, and I give overall life advice. If any of that interests you, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and share this content. Hit the notification bell so that you're aware when I post a brand new video. As feminine women, it is important that we look good, feel good, smell good, and we just treat ourselves well. As a feminine woman, there are certain things that we do not do in public and we don't want to portray ourselves as being tacky shallow or less than what we are so in general there are three things that we do not do in public number one we do not eat while we are walking down the street we do not walk down the street stuffing our face full of food as if we have no home training you wait until you get home or finish your food wherever you are. But under no circumstances do you walk down the street licking your fingers with chicken bones or whatever else hanging out of your mouth. Number one. Number two. We do not have loud conversations over the phone with people in public. I can't tell you how many times I've been on the train and I've overheard, not really overheard because the person is making it obvious that they are having some kind of disagreement with the person on the phone. We do not need to know that so-and-so owes you money or so-and-so slept with your husband or so-and-so is doing this. That is so tacky and unbecoming of a woman when you are out in public having an argument over the phone with someone telling all of your business. That is something that we do not do as women. It's just very distasteful and it says that you don't have any kind of home training and you lack discipline because you don't have enough uh, decorum about yourself to at least lower your voice while you're having the conversation. And number three, we do not have arguments with our boyfriends, husbands, fiancés in public. That is a no-no. You can have a disagreement, but you don't get into a full-blown argument and start airing out your personal business when you or your husband are in the supermarket or when you're in the mall or wherever you are. That is so, again, tacky. As a feminine woman, you always want to present yourself in the best light. I don't care what he did, what he said. That is not the time for you to start airing out your grievances. Once you get home or once you get into the first set of four walls you see, that's when you can let him have it. But you do not do that right in front of the cashier, in front of the doctor, whoever it might be. We have to get better at having self-discipline. And that is something that is lacking for many women today. Many women lack self-control. So you get so emotional in the wrong way that you put yourself on display to be talked about and belittled and looked down on because you display yourself as if you are less than what you actually could be. And many of us, we are already portrayed as being, you know, characters. And we don't want to put ourselves further in that kind of light. So you have to be mindful of how you are conducting yourself when you're in public, especially when it comes to having arguments, speaking loudly on the phone, and eating in public. These things are so um, unclassy and distasteful for women who are claiming to be feminine. Now, if you're a masculine woman, you just going about, you don't care what nobody think, you just, you know, when you do that, that's fine. You continue to do that. But as a feminine woman who has class and grace about herself, who wants to look good, feel good, smell good, and just conduct yourself in the right kind of way, you do not want to carry yourself in that way. It screams that you lack class and that you were not raised properly. And I hate to put this on the parent, but sometimes we copy the behaviors of the other women we've seen in our lives. And many of us grew up, grew up around women who were very hard, who just said whatever was on their mind, who cussed out the teachers, the dentists, um, the principal. They just cussed out everybody whenever they felt like it, and they felt like, I'm not letting nothing slide. I just saw a video on TikTok where a woman was saying, I don't let nothing slide. My mama used to let things slide. I don't let nothing slide. And I understand her to an extent, as in you can't let people get over on you. 
But you understand, we understand as women that sometimes we do the absolute most. Sometimes we just want our voices to be heard. And in that, we make ourselves out to look like clowns. And that's what you don't want to do as a feminine woman. You always want to portray yourself as classy and gracious. And I don't care if you're having an argument. I've been married for 18 years together for 20. My husband has pissed me off many times in public. But never under any circumstance have I ever cussed him and said all these different things, got loud and all of that in front of people. I respect him too much to do that. And whatever he said that might have irked me, he didn't say it loud enough for somebody else to hear. He said it in a way that irritated me. So who am I to publicly embarrass him when he didn't embarrass me? You understand? So we just have to be mindful of not making a show of ourselves and conduct ourselves as classy feminine women. And again, I understand sometimes you're in public and you're really hungry and you feel like you need to snack on something. Put a piece of gum in your mouth. Put a mint in your mouth or something to just hold you over until you can get into the house or your four walls before you start eating. I've seen women out in public just walking down the street, licking their fingers, you know, got crumbs and everything all over the mouth, powder from powdered donuts. It's disgusting and it's unbecoming of a woman. Unless you are, you know, homeless and if that, that's unfortunate, there's no reason why you should be outside eating if you're not at a barbecue or some kind of event at the park, okay? Walking down the street just choking on chicken bones is not what we do as feminine women, okay? And then those arguments over the phone with people, I am a wholehearted believer in hanging up on people. I'm not going to walk down the street. I'm not saying I've never done it. I have done it years ago. I would walk down the street cussing my brothers out left and right because they just say things. But as I got older, I realized nobody over here in this state, and my brothers are in another state, need to know my family business. So I am the queen of begging on people. I will absolutely hang up on you. And don't text me because by that time I done blocked you if I really can't take any more of the conversation. But I'm not going to scream at the top of my lungs, lose my voice for my family because I'm talking to you or having an argument with you over the phone. It's so distasteful as women and we have to be mindful to not do that kind of thing, okay? We are feminine women. We carry ourselves with class and grace and we do not want to portray ourselves in a light that is negative. There's enough of that going around. So be mindful of your behaviors in public. You want to look good, feel good, and portray yourself in a good light because why would you not want to? Why would you want to portray yourself in anything less than what you are as a feminine, elegant woman, okay? Like and subscribe to the channel and share this content. Hit the notification bell so that you're aware when I post a brand new video. And if you watch this video until the end, you know exactly what to do. Put that high hill emoji in the comment section. See you next time. Hit the like button. Take care.